Okay, I'm going to show you how to do retopology in Blender using the B surface add in. Now, retopology is something that you're going to want to do in order to get a lower resolution or lower poly mesh. This um, Suzanne monkey head that I have here is a high density, high resolution object. Um, if I look at this and I get into the meshes, <laughs> if I get into all the uh, vertices, you're going to see that um, there's a lot here to work with. And a lot of the models that you um, either are going to scan or you're going to sculpt, or even the ones that you build um, and model out, um, there will be a lot of detail in there that you may want or need, um, at least for the look of the model. But when you want to get it down to something that you put in a game or you animate, um, you can't have that detail. So what we want to do is take something that's high topology and get it down to low topology. And that process is called retopology. If you want to see an example of where we want to go, we want to go and have something that looks more like this. This um, is a clean, symmetrical, um, low poly model. Um, so the other one had hundreds of thousands of vertices. This might have a couple thousand vertices. So this is the directionally where you want to go. Um, also, before you really start your topology, you should have an idea of how you want to shape it. Um, so if, if you go to the web and you search retopology, if you're doing a, a face or, or some, um, some object that's well recognized in terms of topology, um, search for that and you're going to find that there's a common way that it's done. You'll see that um, that around the nose, there's kind of this thing that goes around the chin and kind of circles the mouth. You'll see that um, there's kind of this radial around the eyes. Um, th this is pretty common. Um, so you'll just look um, on the web for different retopologies and you'll see that there is a common framework uh, for these. Um, but what I want to do here is really show you how to use B surface itself in order to do that retopology. Um, so we are going to focus on the high topology item. We're going to focus on this version of Suzanne, uh, and we're going to build or, or start to build out a low resolution model. Now, in order to get things to work, you're going to first want to make sure that you have B surface um, loaded. Uh, B surface comes with Blender, but it's not turned on by default. Go to the file menu, user preferences, and under add-ins, search for the surface as I have here. It will be unchecked likely um, on your system. So just check it and hit save user settings if you want to use it in future projects. And there you go. The next thing you want to do is you want to create um, a retopology object. Um, so we're just going to need to create a, a new space that we can start adding vertices. The simplest way to do that is go to the Add menu, select Mesh, and select Plane. That just gives us something to start to work with. Now, this plane here, we are not going to use. In fact, all I'm going to do is uh, rename this plane Retopology. So I know this is the asset that we are going to do for Retopology. Um, but I don't need the plane itself. So under edit mode here, um, I'm going to have all of the vertices selected as they are for this plane. And then I'm going to hit delete and delete everything. So now what I have is in uh, no vertices in a model object called retopology. So there's nothing in it um, other than the space in the name. And that's exactly what we want. Uh, um, before you start um, doing the topology, I would also recommend, um, while in edit mode here, um, find the uh, Snap To tool. Uh, it's the one that looks like a magnet. Make sure it's turned on. Um, select Snap To Faces, and then um, have all of these icons here turned on. Um, this would allow, if you need to move any of the mesh items, if you need to move a vertice or a face or a line, um, the, that will also cling um, to this face, so essentially like shrink wrap it so that it clings to the face itself. And that's what we want. 
Okay, so when we are using B-Surface, we're going to use the Grease Pen tool. So over in your Tools panel, you will see a tab for Grease Pen. Um, before you start uh, drawing, make sure that the following are selected and turned on. Um, have Continuous checked. That will allow you to draw lines, pick up the pen as you draw them continuously. Um, change your data source to Object. The stroke placement should be Surface. So continuous object and surface um, and you should be good to go um, lastly on the retopology um, if you want to mirror things if, if what you do on one side you want to see on the other side um, you can simply add a modifier um, for mirror and that modifier um, will show you everything you do on one side will show up on the other side okay so now we are going to start doing our retopology um, to do it um, select the uh, draw tool you'll have a brush here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to just draw horizontal lines zoom in here a bit horizontal lines um, just on the uh, bridge of the nose uh, i'm going to draw a, a few of them here i don't need to draw many I, I actually only need to draw two but i need to draw them in the same direction if i start from left to right the next line needs to be left to right and so forth so let's do that. I'm just going to draw a line here, a line here, and I'm going to draw one that kind of clings around the nose like that. Okay. Next, I go to Tool, and um, I'm going to collapse these a little bit. They're just in the way, and I have B Surface. So I'm going to click Add Surface. So it has added the surface, and what you'll have noticed is part of the face is kind of fallen underneath um, Suzanne here. Now the points are right on the surface, but the face isn't. Um, that's going to happen because essentially you have more detail on the high resolution and these faces essentially don't have enough joints to kind of go around. But if you want those things to pop on the top, you can go over to the um, cube icon and you can scroll down to display and hit x-ray and that way it will always show on top. Now, um, after you've done this, um, you have some options. Uh, by default, the lines that you draw will um, show up um, as segments, and then they'll be crossed um, five times. By default, it's a, it does it to five. You can reduce that down afterwards. So um, take that down to three. That might be good. And if you don't like this, the lines that it did here, if, if you think that maybe you, you drew them too far apart, you can click uh, uncheck loops on strokes, and then up the follow, and then it just equally subdivides at that point, um, is what it's going to do. Um, so there we go. So now we have a, a grid um, that's kind of around the nose that starts our retopology. And as you can see, it is attached exactly to the face. Now, uh, not everything that you do is going to be a simple grid like that. Um, like around this eye, if we look at some of the retopology, it's like a radial around the eye. Um, that's what we want to do. And the way that I look at doing that, it, it's kind of like going around a clock and, and just drawing rays of sunshine equally around it um, for B surface. So let's go back to our grease pen, hit draw. This is exactly what I'm going to do is essentially draw, essentially raise starting at the top here. I'm just going to go out like that and I'm going to draw them about equal distance from each other. But draw them kind of radial out. Oh, my mouse had a little bit of a mistake there. Let me try that one again. There we go. And just on across. I don't like that one either. And then, you know, you don't have to do it perfectly as well. Um, you can change some of this along the way. So there it is. Not, not perfect, not the best job I've done, um, but it gives you an idea. Um, go to Tool, hit um, Add Surface, and there it, it essentially started to do that radial pattern around it. Now, it, it didn't close it. Um, by default, that's what it does. If you want it to close, just hit cycle cross so that the crosses you know, cycle around, and there you have it. Um, 
Now, it, you know, my strokes weren't terribly even around there. Um, so what I can do is turn loops on strokes off and um, just click around to get something that's a little bit more even to it. Um, but even with that, it, it's kind of doing this, this kind of strange uh, kind of twistiness of it. And I, I don't like that. So I'm going to take that back and just take it down here a bit. Um, again, the crosses are, are done like five or so. Um, I'm going to take that down to three. And this starts to look a little bit more like um, what I wanted. Now, one thing I noticed is it looks like one of the points got um, shot all the way back back here or fell underneath okay just falling a little bit farther underneath that can happen sometimes is you just have to be careful that um it, it's going to cling to um the forefront surface and if there's a gap and the surface is back here um it may actually draw that stroke here it is it, it kind of drew it back here and that's not exactly where i want it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um select this um and go up front here i'm going to hit g and it will now move back to the front surface there. I'm going to do the same here. Hit G, move it a little bit closer. Move some of these out again, G. Maybe some of this stuff just got a little bit too close to the edge. And that's how you can tweak. You can just click any of these things and then type G to move them. And then as you move them, um, it's, these are going to cling to the surface as you need, need them to be. That's a little bit better. This one, again, G, move it up a little bit, and then move this one. Okay, that looks a little bit better, uh, and that was probably what was causing that weird twistiness of this uh, that I didn't like. So, um, but anyways, that's it's a good explanation of um, how you adjust things and, and move things as you uh, need them to be. Uh, now, often you're going to find that um, you're going to have spaces where you're going to want to connect these things together. Um, now, if I'm following the retopology, what I may want to do is have this part uh, around just the tip of the nose come down. So I may want this and this to follow a line. I'm going to zoom out here a little bit and just kind of get that around here. Like that and like that so let me uh, add surface there there we go so now that's starting to go around and again if I if I wanted to you know um, change the the number of intersections I, I can continue to do that now um, I, I, I think I want this eye very similar to the topologies that I'm seeing to kind of to, to radial around here a little bit more and kind of then come around the nose. Um, so one way to do that is, is just first um, you select an edge. Um, you can extrude that out a few like that. Get back to uh, selecting the vertices and I'm going to select um, all of these vertices around here all the way to there um, but what I want to do is I'm going to unselect this one at the corner um, just so it knows that um, these lines go in one direction and the others go in the other uh, and then I'm going to draw a line from the end of this of where I want that to go so I want this to go like that then hit add surface and there we go um, it's a little bit squashed <laughs> I could probably Fix that a little bit, um, or just redo it. Let me draw this a little bit better. Yeah, and now redo it. There, that's a little bit more of what I wanted. Um, now, you know, to connect, say, this to this, uh, pretty simple. Um, just select each of these, select each of these. Make sure that you have the same number selected and then just draw lines that go in between. So I'm going to have one here, maybe uh, maybe one coming down from like there and here. And 
add surface, and there we go. So that starts to connect those as I need to. Now, uh, I'm not going to continue all the way through this, but you get the idea. Um, you can just, you know, continue around uh, to create all the different um, parts of Suzanne. Um, just following that model, again, you know, if I select two sides, if I unselect that corner, now I can draw this up like that. And there we go. And you got to have fun just continuing to, to fill this out in order to build out the rest of this model. Uh, and um, you're going to at some point get it down to a, a clean model that will hopefully look a little bit more. Let me get out of here. A little bit more like this one here. That's what you're going to want to get to, something that's about of this resolution. Um, that number of facets. Um, and again, just look at the web, find some retopologies that you like. You don't need to have a lot of resolution here because in the next phase where I talk about UV unwrapping uh, and baking normals, you'll see how we can get something that's of this resolution um, and get it to look like this. Let me get out of this mode. something a little bit more like that. Yeah. So we're going to get the low resolution model to look like this um, simply by doing a UV unwrap and baking this information as normals. So check that out. Meanwhile, enjoy retopology.